the world was safe. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just what we thought Saturday had come. That's right. Uh, you, everyone's aware that we have a couple here in, in our class who are about to have a life-changing experience here in a few days. And so, uh, the lesson this evening is dedicated to the male member of that, of, of, of that couple. It's dedicated to Cale Smith, Hope Montero, or Macarios, Hope Nails. Now, we're familiar with most of these words. Uh, these two, and perhaps this one, we, we haven't had. But uh, uh, on, on the, the name, I, I wasn't sure how to spell it. I thought that perhaps I should have spelled it. Like this, since we're in Texas. <laughs> That'd be a two syllable word here instead of one, and, and the same thing here. Okay. Uh, we, of course, uh, know what Paul Pater is. And uh, this one right here, I, I wanted the word for, for proud. Uh, the, the, the proud father. Uh, in looking in the New Testament, uh, the Greek uh, for proud, well, I, I use the NIV primarily. And you know that in the English there are two usages for proud. There's proud, uh, like yesterday I was proud to look on Facebook and see a picture of my granddaughter being baptized. Uh, or I might be proud of my friendships. But there's also arrogant. And uh, uh, in the NIV, every usage of proud is the non-desirable one, <laughs> uh, arrogant. So, and, and that word happens to be, uh, let's see, I think I'm okay. And I forgot where the accent goes. I have trouble with these accents anyway. Anybody else have trouble with those accents? Okay. Uh, but uh, anyway, I uh, decided I didn't want to uh, use that one uh, because I, I don't think that uh, describes uh, Kale. Uh, now, Kimberly might say that occasionally it describes <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I chose not to use that one. I had another uh, possibility, and uh, uh, that is uh, this. Cox Omenos. And uh, that is. Uh, a bragging because, or boasting because of some accomplishment, and that can be that can be good. Uh, this one uh, happens to be a present participle, and uh, remember, a, a participle is a verb form that serves as either an adjective or an adverb, uh, like. The last time I was with you, the uh, uh, lost sheep. Lost was a perfect participle, meaning that the action had been completed and we're in a state of completion. Now, this one is a present participle, which means that the action is taking place at that time, the present. And uh, I thought about that a little bit. And probably not as much of that is taking place as will be here in a couple of three weeks. And there's probably a certain elder 
uh, that we have in this congregation that more of it will be taking place than... <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, so I decided I wouldn't use that, and here's a good word I like, and we're familiar with that one. And that, of course, means uh, happy or blessed, and I think that both of them apply in this situation. Uh, this word over here, oh, naos, uh, that can be either new or young. And so both of those apply. So we're talking here about uh, the new, young, uh, happy, blessed father. And so tonight's uh, presentation is dedicated to, to you, Cale. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, so watch first. <laughs> <laughs> Three beats for three, and four will take what's left. All together. 
together, would you kindly, kindly? Now here's a simple little game, easy as can be. All you do is clap your hands and try to follow me. It's one, two, three.